Today is Friday. That means Zer is back in the tower. He's hanging out over here by the Crucible vendors. Let's see what he's got. I'm gonna give show you everything he's got. Plus, I'm gonna give you recommendations of what I think are the best purchases for each class. So let's start off with the exotic gear. For the Titan class, we've got a brand new Dark Below expansion item. It's the Ruin Wings. Uh, these things are actually really cool. Aside from looking very awesome with that kind of chromed out look, uh, they've got really good perks to them too. So it's got special weapon loader. That is an awesome perk if you're using sniper rifles or fusion rifles or shotguns in the Crucible. It's going to constantly be of benefit to you. We've also got impact induction causing damage with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown. That's also very useful. And Seeds of Ruin, heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo each drop. I find that useful all the time, especially against the higher level content because I'm always using heavy ammo. So what I like about the Ruin Wings so much is the fact that they're gonna benefit you constantly. You're always going to be getting benefits out of these. Not just when you use specials, not just when you use grenades, they're always going to be giving you benefits, and I really like that. They are gauntlets, which I think are a little less useful than helmets or chest pieces, but they are an expansion item. I would definitely recommend picking these things up. I like them a lot. Next up, for the Hunter class, we got the Archleophage Symbiote. Uh, if you like being a gunslinger, this is a must-buy. It's an absolutely fantastic helmet. I will say, though, I wouldn't buy it if you're planning on buying exotic engrams this week because it is a helmet engram, you may end up with it anyway. So I would just hold off if you're already planning on buying exotic engrams, wait until you do that and then pick this up if you didn't if you didn't get it from that. But the Archleophage symbiote is absolutely phenomenal. I really like being a gunslinger. I have a lot of fun with the golden gun and this gives you an extra shot per use and uh, that's gonna be constantly useful, especially in raids, uh, any high level content, it's really gonna help you out. In the Crucible, it's gonna help you out. Imagine, so if you are if you come up against a Titan bubble and there's two people in it, you can use two shots to take down the Titan bubble, and then you still got two shots to take out the remaining two players in it. Uh, for the Crucible, it's gonna be useful. For P PVE, it's gonna be useful. It's a really wonderful helmet. Uh, it also has fastball, increased grenade throw distance, and ashes to asset replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. Uh, it's a very good helmet and it's now the upgraded version. So I would definitely pick this one up. Next for the Warlock class, surprise, surprise, we got the Void Fang Vestments. I don't know why these come up constantly, but they are always being sold by Xur. Uh, they are a good chest armor, especially if you like using a hand cannon. They do provide hand cannon ammo extra, increases the amount of hand cannon ammunition you can carry. Special weapon an ammo increases the amount of special weapon ammunition you can carry. And improved Axiom Bolt. Your Axiom Bolt grenade spawns an additional seeker, respawns with full grenade energy. So if you like using the Axiom Bolt, if you're a, you know, if you're a Void Warlock, then this is a great chest armor. It's just disappointing that we ha see it every week. I got to imagine everybody has this already. And if you do, I can't I can't recommend spending 13 strange coins just to get the upgraded version. I would really wait until that shows up down here in the upgrade equipped exotics. I'm sure it will because there's so many items down here. It can't be long before this shows up, maybe next week or the week after. I can't tell you when it'll show up, but I, I would imagine it'll be down here. Uh, and then you can just spend uh, an exotic shard on it as opposed to 13 strange coins. Uh, next up for our weapon, we've got Truth. If you don't already have Truth, Truth is a very good rocket launcher. Not quite as good as Yallerhorn, but very, very good. Uh, possibly better in PvP. Uh, the perks on this are grenades and horseshoes. Rockets with this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to target. So you don't have to worry about your, your target jumping out of the way. This thing will hit them you know, almost every time. It, it's really super easy to use. It's also got the prototype True Seeker. Rounds fired from this weapon seek their targets aggressively. And I have seen some clips on YouTube of these things doing laps, you know, trying to get to their target. So uh, combine that with grenades and horseshoes and the thing is absolutely a never miss rocket launcher. It's really, really good. It also does void damage. 
Uh, it's great. If you don't have it already, I would definitely pick it up. I mean, it's it's very, very useful. It's not quite as good as Yallerhorn, but it's definitely second best. Uh, of course, we can buy exotic shards with seven strange coins. So if you need to upgrade any of your exotics, that is an easy way to get them. Just spend seven strange coins. And we have the exotic Engram. This week, it's helmet. So I would definitely recommend uh, spending some Mozart light on this this week. Uh, if you're ar if you're already planning on buying the Archleophage Symbiote and you are going to use the ex exotic Engram this week, I would do that first, uh, just in case you get that anyway. Also, there's new items that you could be getting for your hunter or for your warlock, and they're very very good. Uh, so I would definitely I would definitely spend as many Mozart of light as you can on this this week. I think it'll be. Well, hopefully it'll be worth it. All right, so next let's talk about upgrade equipped exotics. Uh, I think they did a nice job. I don't know if they picked this out this week or if it is randomly generated, but I think they did a nice job of giving us the stuff that we really wanted uh, right away. So let's talk about Mask of the Third Man. If you are a Blade Dancer hunter, this is the best helmet in the game. It is awesome. Upgrading this is just going to make it better. Uh, it'll help you get to light level 32 faster. So I would definitely upgrade this. A lot of people are going to have young Ahamkara's spine. I think it was sold twice in the last two weeks. Or maybe it was just two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks in a row. Uh, this is okay. It's not an awesome uh, piece of gear. But if you find yourself using it a lot, it's kind of a no-brainer. The Armamentarium is definitely a no-brainer. This is an awesome chess piece for the Titan class. Having two extra grenades is awesome, or having an, one extra grenade is awesome. Carrying more ammo for heavy weapons and special weapons is awesome. I think this might be the best piece of exotic gear for the Titans at this point. Uh, I haven't seen all of the new expansion content for them, but this is it's a really good piece. Next, we have no backup plans. This one offers, what is it this one offer? It has a special weapon loader, rainbows, increase melee attack speed, and improve disintegrate, increase the duration of force barrier. This one's gonna be great if you're in the crucible using your melee a lot. Uh, otherwise, I can't see it being super useful in PVE. We have the light beyond nemesis. A lot, I see a lot of people running around with this because it looks so cool. It offers revive teammates faster, spawn more orbs. Your teammates are going to really appreciate that. Increase melee attack speed and replenish health when you pick up an orb. Uh, this is one of those helmets that constantly is giving. You know, you don't need to be using a specific grenade. It's really just going to be always helping you out. And I like pieces of armor like that. The Sunbreakers for the Warlock class increase the duration of your solar grenade, increase reload speed with special weapons and melee hits replenish grenade energy. So this is one of those ones that you gotta be using a specific class, you gotta be using a specific grenade to fully benefit from. I don't really prefer those. I really like the stuff that is constantly giving. Uh, but if you are a warlock that likes the solar class and likes the solar grenade, then you may like these an awful lot. Uh, but I would, I would save my exotic shards for upgrading something that's gonna be a little more useful, unless this is really your only choice. Next, let's get to the weapons here, and we got a really good selection of weapons. So, Soros Regime. I just want to let you guys know that the Iron Banner is coming back soon. You're definitely going to want to upgrade your Soros as soon as possible. You're going to want to start that happening right away. Uh, Bungie has said that upgrading weapons uh, is going to be faster after they've been upgraded. We'll see about that, but you're going to want an upgraded Soros Regime for the Iron Banner coming up soon. Red Death, uh, you know... This is a better exotic than it used to be. They upgraded this a little bit. Uh, however, I really still think it's a second tier exotic, especially when you compare it to something like the Soros Regime. So if you're short on exotic shards, I would probably hold off on this one in favor of something a little use more useful. Uh, the last word, kind of the same advice I would give for Red Death. You know, I really like the last word. I think it's a really fun weapon. I think it's really good in PvP, and really fun, but it's really, um, you know, you really better gotta be close range. So it's really a situational weapon. Uh, so if you love the last word, if you love using it, upgrade it. But again, I think there are more important things here that you could be upgrading. Thorn got a huge buff 
two weeks ago. Uh, it has really become one of my favorite weapons. Uh, it's always been one of my favorite weapons, but now it's actually also a good weapon. I'll be upgrading this definitely. Uh, there's no doubt about it. I use this gun constantly, and uh, getting more attack out of it is just going to be more useful. Icebreaker this week would be my priority. If you have an icebreaker, then you already know how useful this weapon is. Uh, the fact that it constantly regenerates its own ammo, the, the fact that it's so damn powerful, it's just, you know, it's without a doubt one of the most useful guns in the game for me. Uh, it almost doesn't matter what else is on this list. For me, I'm going to upgrade the icebreaker. This is a, this is a huge one. I mean, I use this constantly, <laughs> you know, for almost every purpose. It doesn't matter if I'm in a raid. It doesn't matter if I'm just soloing the nightfall. It's just so useful. Even when uh, solar damage isn't on in the nightfall, I find myself using it an awful lot. Uh, and just to, you know, just to regenerate ammo, it's very useful. And now to get more attack out of it, that's great news. It's really huge news. Uh, the last one is Thunderlord, and I have a really strong attachment to the Thunderlord because it was the first exotic that I got in Destiny. However, compared to Icebreaker, compared to Suros, if you're short on shards, then I would really recommend going with the Icebreaker or the Suros first. Uh, but I really do love the Thunderlord, so my... My decision making is a little different for this one. <laughs> you know, I really want to upgrade my Thunderlord. I really love it, especially in PvP. Uh, but again, my my two real recommendations. If you only have two strange coins, it would be Suros for the Iron Banner coming up and Icebreaker for just about every piece of PvE content you're going to encounter. Uh, you know, heavy weapon... It's just, you use it so, so infrequently compared to your special or your primary that I would really focus on the special and the primary first. So let's talk about Curios. I'm going to start at the back here. You can buy the Urn of Sacrifice uh, for one strange coin that is used to upgrade Murmur. Uh, you use it with Eris outside. Uh, so everybody's probably going to want to pick that one up for one strange coin. We have Pulse Rifle Telemetry, we have Scout Rifle Telemetry, and we have Fusion Rifle Telemetry. So if you're trying to upgrade Murmur, this might be a good thing to get. We got the Plasma Drive and the Emerald Coil to upgrade your blue, rare Sparrows to Legendary. So that's going to do it, guys. I mean, it was a big week. This Zer is now more meaningful than he ever was. Everybody looked forward to seeing what he had for Exotic Gear. But now we all want to upgrade our old exotics, so it's even a bigger deal than it used to be. Uh, I'm actually really excited about it. I think he's got a huge selection of really great stuff. I'm going to be picking up some of these exotic engrams. If I don't get an Archleophage symbiote out of it, I'm going to be picking up one of those. I may pick up the Ruin Wings just because they're new content for my Titan. And I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of upgrading down here. So thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.